Hi everyone, Yaku from Tutor Touch here and in this video I'll be going over the Android operating system that comes standard with our Tutor Touch interactive 4K panels. Now to get to the Android side of the panel you have a couple of different options to do that. The first option would be to not have a computer plugged in and that will instantly boot up the panel onto the Android side. If you do have a computer you have a couple of different ways like I mentioned. First one would be to click on the little arrow, click on the line grid, which will bring up your input menu. And from there, you can click on the Android icon. The second option would be to use the panel remote by pressing the input button. That will once again bring up your input menu. And then the last option, the coolest one in my opinion, is to swipe up from the bottom. And then once again, it brings up your input menu and you can click on the Android icon. Now this is our Android interface and I do want to mention that this is much more limiting than the computer side of the panel. However, it gives you enough features to prepare a lesson, take some quick notes or just display some prepared work on the panel. So to start off with the interface, you have your settings, which is your general settings. You can add access your Wi-Fi, your internet, your Bluetooth, your sound and all of that. Next one in line is your Keeper, which is a program that cleans out the memory of the Android side. Your input menu, which is the same menu we were just on. Then you have your Finder, which is like File Explorer on Windows, with your internal memory as well as any additional attached devices. The, then you have your Browser, which is like Google Chrome, which will allow you to surf the, the internet for any additional content. You have your visualizer. So if you have a visualizer attached, you can take photos of certain sets of work and display them on the panel. Then you also have the note program, which I want to mention again is much more limiting than the PC version of note. However, you do have a couple of unique options to the Android side of the panel. So to start off with, you do have your 20 touch along with your back of the hand gesture erasing. And then you also have your automatic shapes. Would it be 3D or 2D? You can change the line color, the thickness and everything of the shapes as well. Then you have your infinite space, which will allow you to make content smaller and then move it out of the way. One of the unique features that come with the Android side is the dual pen. So with these two stylus that have different thicknesses of nibs on the uh, end of them, you can write in different colors. So the thick nib will write in purple and then the thin nib will write in red. You can use these simultaneously on the panel and then they will write in the different colors at the same time. The next one and the last feature of this side of the program is the color mixer. Now this allows you to mix any color instantly on the panel and then visually showcase what those two colors would be. So if you then line, the, the li line it up correctly, you will get to green. So that was just a quick overview on the Android side of the panel. Thank you so much for watching. Please follow, like and share. My name is Yaku from Tutor Touch.